Hello and welcome. So in this demo, I shall take you to the new exciting feature, which is a dynamic connection in FTP adapter. Let's review this feature with a use case. As part of the multiple hospital mergers and acquisition, a single PLM application that might require to send the item files to the different hospitals of their FTP servers. In order to achieve this functionality, Currently, the developer has to amend the existing integration to add a new FTP location that comes into the scope. So with this feature, you can pass the connection ID dynamically at the runtime and you don't require to amend the existing integration. So let's see the key capabilities of this feature. You can send the connection ID at the runtime and process the files to a specific FTP service. You can create the flexible connections, be it local or shared connection, between the projects, or it can be a standalone connection. And you can monitor the connection ID that was invoked at the runtime in the activity stream. So if you look at this feature in an accelerator perspective, you don't require to extend the accelerator and you can just add a new connection in the project and proceed to pass the connection ID at the runtime. So let's see how this can be achieved. Let's go ahead and see the design time experience first. Let me take you to the FTP wizard. So now you can see a checkbox with the enable dynamic connection where it allows you to key in the expression. So I have used it lookup here to pass the FTP connection ID dynamically. You can also pass the FTP connection ID directly from your input payload as well. Let me take you to the lookup that I have configured over here. So I have three columns over here. So what does it mean? This is the input payload value that I will be getting it. And then when I get this particular PIMOH in the input payload, that it will go ahead and direct to this particular FTP connection ID. So now let's go ahead and execute a job in the ERP. So I've got the process ID. Let's go ahead and search this process. Yeah, the job is running. I can see the job got executed successfully. Okay, so let me take to the observability of Oracle integration, the messages that got executed successfully. Okay. Let me go into the instances and uh, you can see the spoke system code is PIMOH. So if you go back to the lookup, this is the spoke system ID that I've used it. So by default, it should go and execute this particular FTP connection. Let's now see what FTP connection that it got executed. Go here in the activity stream, you can see this is the connection ID that got executed for FTP. We shall go ahead and add uh, one more uh, connection ID in the value lookup and then execute one more spoke job in the Oracle ERP and then see where the files are going ahead and getting placed. So now I have keyed in the new lookup values. I have added uh, one more spoke system ID PIMOH2. So if my input payload contains this particular spoke system ID, it will go ahead and execute this particular connection. Let's go ahead and execute the new job in Oracle integration with the new spoke system. Let me submit the job. I got the process ID. Let me go ahead and search it. It will take some time to get it executed. You can see the job got successfully executed over here. So now let's go back to the Oracle integration. I can see the new messages is received and it's in the in progress. Let's refresh. I can see the message got successfully executed and you can see the spoke system ID is PIM. OH2 and if I go back to my value lookup, you can see the spoke system is ID is PIMOH2. And what is the FTP ID against to this? BAEHT new FTP. So let's now go ahead and check it out whether the same connection ID got executed in the activity tray. I can see the same connection ID over here. So now let's go ahead and check it out in our FTP server as well. Yeah, I can see the files got placed over here. So if you observe, I haven't done any changes in the existing integration and able to send the files to the new FTP server just by passing the connection ID at the runtime via lookup. That's all for this demo today. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.